do you love doors but are a bit fed up frankly of wooden doors and iron doors and even openy piston doors and you want something that looks just a little bit more star wars a little bit more futuristic and a little bit more funky well i have showed you today how to make a laser door i kid you not a laser door that you can go through when it is open and can't go through when it's closed don't go anywhere i'm going to show you how to do it now Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night, depending on what time you're watching this next tutorial from me, Avamance, and today, yeah, I kid you not, I am making a laser door in Minecraft. It is a laser door in Minecraft, and it is operated really, really simply. It's got not a lot of redstone. It's actually so simple, and I'm going to show you how to do it step by step, and you don't have to even have it blue lasers. You could have it red lasers. You could have it green lasers. Whatever colour you fancy... You can make it that colour. It's absolutely brilliant. Couldn't be more simple. Do not go anywhere. We are going to show you how to do this step by step. But remember, before you do that, if you do enjoy this channel, I would love for you to hit that little red button. That subscribe button is calling you. Make sure you bash that button for me and join my sub club. It would be great to see you on that list. And also, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit the like button. I don't know if you've liked it. Unless you hit the like button, it would be lovely to see if we can get... I don't know, 150 likes on this video. That would be absolutely awesome. See if you can help me do that. Let's get on with the build. The first thing you want to do is make a platform. Now this platform can be made out of pretty much any material you want. It needs to be a non-transparent block so as it can hold a redstone signal, i.e. redstone signals can pass through it. So quartz, bricks, dirt, you know, anything like that you can use to create this particular building. It needs to be seven blocks by seven blocks. And bear in mind that you're going to create the rest of your structure, probably using these blocks, including the gate bit. Make sure it's a block that you really want to use. Now this build is survival friendly but you can see we've got some expensive resources on here so it's going to take a while to gather what you want but it is survival friendly you could make this in survival. We're going to create across the middle of this particular 7x7 platform a row of diamond blocks. Yes I said it, I said it out loud, diamond blocks. So it's 3 by 7 and then in the middle of these blocks we're going to put a row of beacons. Yep another expensive item beacons when miss the first one and go two three four five six and that creates a really lovely kind of light shot out there you go it got there eventually shot out exactly like that now on top of these beacons you might want to put some colored glass if you want it as blue leave it as blue have it however you want it looks quite cool blue but i'm going to try purple and i'm going to put on the top of here remember you've got to crouch to do it i'm going to put purple you can see it makes just for a nice color i just like it um, for this particular one. Red looks awesome, green looks awesome, in fact any real colour looks awesome and it just becomes really cool for a laser door. So that is what you want so far. Next step is to create a pillar very nearly on the corner, so not on the corner but the one next to the corner, four high. And then on this side of the pillar, get yourself, oh I'm covered in laser, get yourself a sticky piston and stick it so as it's facing you this way and come along with four more sticky pistons so all four of you are facing yourself exactly like that then get yourself another block of choice and run it along the back of that and then similarly run it along the front of that too we're then going to put a row of redstone across here two three four five and you can see there what that's done when these sticky pistons activate they're going to push that block and it's going to block off that laser it's a really simple mechanism and i'll just demonstrate how that's going to work if i stick a block there and i get my redstone torch and stick it there it blocks off that laser and eventually when the lag catches up like it did there the lasers turn off and then when that redstone comes away again the lasers are going to come back on again exactly like that apologize for the little bit of lag that it did right there so now we have to get the glass exactly where it is we want it to be because I'm just put this glass on here to demonstrate what the color change would be like. So what you need to get glass so it is one row above your pistons exactly like that. That's fantastic. So that has exactly the same color change as um, it did before because it's doing exactly the same thing. Then we want to get a gate and we're going to get a gate and face it. Sorry, place it along the top of the glass exactly like that and the reason for that is it actually is going to make it impossible to be able to walk through the gate when it's closed and possible to let it kind of let you through when it's open it's really dead clever and then we want to get ourselves a bit of grey carpet and we're going to stick that grey carpet on top except I've got to crouch again on top there and 
same on each and every one of those gates. So that creates a nice kind of platform that you're going to be walking through when this gate is open. The next stage is to get a row of um, block the other side of the piston. So come along here. The best way I've found to do it, stop messing about, is to create yourself a block straight through, then go one, two, three, four, five. On top of these, we want to be putting a redstone torch on every one. Two, three, four, and five. And then we're going to come down in kind of a step underneath here, exactly like that, and get rid of that one there. And we're going to have a platform that is too wide. So that's one. And that is two. And into these blocks, pointing inwards, we are going to put a redstone repeater on each and every one of them. So you can see the arrows are pointing to the block. That's really, really important on all five of them. And then get ourselves some redstone and we're going to connect. That's not redstone. That's redstone. We're going to connect it up exactly like that. So you can see that's kind of that part of the redstone circuit is connected to these, but it's not yet connected to anything else. And the next thing we're going to do is we need to put a block underneath the carpet so come out to one side and then come along exactly like that there you go and on the other side again you want a block so come up one get rid of that one just like that so that now is very nicely platformed in fact let's let's make this too wide come around this side make that too wide and we've got a platform there that at the moment the gates are open so it's going to let us walk through um, so it's not a particularly good gate but it will become a much better gate in a moment so we now have to add in the redstone to start to connect that side with that side and also some way of turning it on and off around this side here so we're going to go all the way up to there and when you're level with the lasers come out one and then we're going to staircase ourselves up so you've got like a, a steppy up bit there then another two and lose the middle one because we want to create a bit of a gap, get more redstone and bring this redstone all the way along to there. So that is now connected up really very nicely. And on this side, we want to get a redstone torch, which is right there, and stick the redstone torch on the side of that block exactly like that. So that's kind of got that half of the circuitry all connected up. What I'm actually going to do now is just to make it a little bit I know tidier I guess for want of a better word we're going to come along and we're going to create our kind of doorway if you like so we're going to come sideways one like that I'm going to go one two three four now whether you know this or not you have to have with a beacon it has to be able to see the sky so if I was to do that all it's going to do is block off the beacon that's what the pistons are doing they're blocking off the beacon so we can't actually block that beacon off it's a bit of a shame because it would be much nicer if it was encased but actually it doesn't matter too much it's still going to look pretty cool when it is a laser door how awesome is that but if we get some white stained glass what that can do is that can then stop it looking so obvious when it comes out the top and that is now kind of stained back to the way it should be the way it was normally and you can build your building whatever it is you're going to have around it and all it's going to have is some pillars going up to the sky but if you make the building big enough it doesn't really matter now we're just going to connect up this redstone here dead simple get a block there a block there block on top of that get rid of that one and a block right there get our redstone dust stick one there one there bang that turns all of those torches off as a result of turning all these repeaters on and that makes it impossible for us to be able to walk through this laser door no won't let me through won't let me through however if i then get a lever where's my lever i haven't pulled one out yet if i then get a lever stick it on there and flick the lever we should find that turns off and we can walk through it very fine thank you very much flick the lever wait for the lag and on it comes again. I do hate lag, but on a faster server, you'll find that that works really, really well. So there you go. That is the laser door. All that that gives us now to do is to tidy it up a little bit. The one challenge you've got with this original build is that it's only accessible from one side. And once you're inside, you can't turn it back on again, or you can't turn it off when you're inside if it's already on. So what you can do is you can move this along one space so it's in line with the wall. And you can just extend this kind of stepping up here 
and move everything along one and then you can access it from this side like that very simple and then you can turn it back on again when you come out of it as well so that's maybe another and very different way to do it so you've got accessibility from both sides so imagine you're walking through the corridor of some castle or some dungeon or some futuristic spaceship even and you're trying to find a way out and you turn the corner and you see this and what are you going to do you can't get through oh no it's a disaster i'm completely trapped and i've got all kinds of nasties about to chase after me i mean it's not obviously there's no nasties this is just a tutorial but there could be loads of nasties trying to get after me i can't get through i can't get through my gate what do i do what do i do oh i know i'll flip that switch there and the gate goes and just so the nasties can't come after me I'll flip it again and it closes again and I can just go ha ha nasties you can't chase me through this awesome laser door so there you have it it is a pretty simple but amazing laser door that is controlled with actually not very complicated redstone underneath at all this doesn't have to be up in the air it could be on the ground and you just dig down the redstone underneath yourself it's really very simple remember you can make these colored doors anything you want you can make them red you can make them green you could do whatever you like and it's really brilliant and now you're a redstone master because you've watched my redstone 101 tutorial the basic absolute basics of redstone which there should be a link somewhere on the screen right now and if there's not there's definitely a link in the description below go and take a look at that if you want to get the basics of redstone It'd be great to see you in those comments too if you like this video please do remember to hit the like button i do not know you've liked it unless you hit the like button it tells me that you're enjoying the videos and lets me know that you want me to make more also if you're not already make sure you hit that subscribe button it'd be really great to see you in my sub club and i look forward to seeing you in another video you take it easy now bye